Letters to the King Letter 5 Suffering In many ways, the punishment unto our own self is the lesson learned from a broken heart, the things we say to our own self. I should not have said that, or I would have done it differently had I just known, to even, I am just not good enough for you. When it ended, all I could feel was confusion, anger, and pain, which ultimately led to blaming myself, shaming myself. I gave you too much of me, dove into the crystal clear waters of my passion and desire for you. I saw it, touched it, felt it deep within that we were meant to be without question. Yet, even though what you felt was so powerful, you couldn't embrace the vision. So you ran. And I am left standing there, staring into the mirror, asking myself what I did wrong when I finally allowed for silence after continuing to punish myself. When I stripped her down and opened her eyes to look back at me, the reflection in the mirror actually spoke back this time. She said, Hi. Good to see you. It's been a while. Now, let's wipe your face and have a long talk. It's time you got to know yourself. It is really no one person's fault when two cannot hold together in a collision. Each will impact the other in different ways so that they can evolve and also recognize their own self-worth. We walk around blindly thinking we have reached all we will ever be and that life is good enough, when all along we don't even know what we want out of life because you have never taken the time to truly get to know the one within. Suffering is created when we accept that this is all there is instead of reaching for the impossible. And the impossible can only be achieved when we believe in ourselves enough to be extraordinary. That requires you to love thyself by getting to know thyself. So I place my crown back on my head and walk with the determination to be the queen worthy of her every heart's desire.